Line workers are also working very hard to restore power in the Charlotte area. Caroline Boyer has an update from Kings Mountain. I'm on the Sarah Lee Access Road in Kings Mountain right off of I-85 where crews are working to replace 18 power poles. You can see behind me here. They've got a new pole ready to replace this one that just snapped in half during the storm. This is one of more than a dozen. They're going to be out here for hours. This is just a small glimpse of the damage as many people aren't able to turn their lights on yet. Duke Energy's line workers have made quick progress restoring power for some. Unfortunately for others in North Carolina, there's damage that will require more than just a quick fix. While the rain has stopped for now, crews are having a hard time replacing poles with how saturated the ground is. The damage we're seeing in and around Mecklenburg County is nothing compared to what people in the mountains are facing. Closed roads, towns completely washed away, and no cell service to contact loved ones. This is probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest storm as far as impact to the Carolinas since Hurricane Hugo. Just the, the, the path of damage is just so large. Duke crews want you to know they hear your frustrations and they feel for you. They're working from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. to get that power back on for you as quickly as they can.